Thank you very much. His Excellency, Mr. Taman Salam. Your Royal Highness, Prince Turki, Chairman of Mento Arabia, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellences, Ministers, Members of Parliament, Ambassadors, Ladies and Gentlemen, I would like to start by extending my sincere gratitude to the President of the Council of Ministers, His Excellency Mr. Saad Hariri, for hosting and being the patron of this Mentor Arabia Gala dinner in conjunction with the 25th anniversary of Mentor International. It gives me great pleasure to be here on my first ever visit to Beirut in Lebanon. This, while supporting the important work of Mentor in the fight for young people's right to lead a healthy and meaningful life free from drugs and addiction. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all been young. And while we may think back at happy and carefree times, I think we all know in our hearts that youth can also be a very challenging time in life. Believing in yourself may seem difficult, even impossible. That is when you need others to believe in you. You need positive and sound role models, adults that can support you and help you see and realize your full potential. And who knows, maybe one day that young person may be a mentor for someone else. It, is an, it has now been 25 years ago since I founded Mentor International together with members of the World Health Organization. This evening serves as a celebration of all that we have accomplished so far. But it will also highlight the many challenges we face as we look ahead. Even though 25 years have passed, our mission is as imperative today as in 1994, to empower young people while preventing risky behaviors such as drug use, smoking, bullying, and violence. Our mission relates to many of the global challenges we are facing at this time. To name just one example, in many countries, mental and substance use disorders are now among the top public health concerns. One of our own recent surveys found that four out of 10 young people suffer from anxiety about the future. Four out of 10, almost half of all our young people. We need to take this issue seriously and respond to them forcefully. I'm heartened to see you all here this evening as we shine a light on the future of our young people and the much needed work of Mentor. We heard many inspirational stories earlier today during the launch, a launch of Mentor Arabia's youth mentoring platform in partnership with the American University of Beirut. I believe it is a crucial to inspire, promote, and strengthen self-esteem and resilience in young people by connecting them with the right mentors. I would like to extend a warm thank you to the Royal Trustees and members of the Board of Mentor Arabia, as well as the organizing team behind this evening, especially Executive Director Turaya Ismail. <laughs> Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to encourage you 
to keep and even further your invaluable support to mentor. Without you, we would not be able to carry out our mission and continue to empower youth while simultaneously building stronger societies. Societies that will stand strong and flourish for many generations to come. What I think is important as well is that today the tolerance of drugs is increasing. I have discussed with a group of young people and asked them, how is it when you're out at the nightclub? How is it? And they said, well, there's drug everywhere. I see it, but openly? Yes, quite openly. And I said, but among your friends as well? Oh, yes, they said, also among our friends. And I said, and what do you do? It's their decision. I have to respect it. You see, this is something new, that today young people have to respect a bad decision taken by another one. It's open and they have to respect it. So I asked him, and when are you going to save your friend? So this kind of tolerance is also very dangerous. And this is something which you find today everywhere in Europe, in the whole world. It's not only that it's chic to take drugs, it's not that it's only something that everybody's taken. No, you have to respect it. I think this is very, very dangerous. So it is with great hope and a warm heart that I look towards the future. Together, we can accomplish so much in the years to come to save our young people. Thank you very much.